Well, hello, Sagittarius. It is CJ here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, welcome back. If you've been here before, I hope you've had a great weekend and that things are going the way that you want. This reading, Saggy, is going to be your daily read. I missed Monday. I was just feeling a little overwhelmed and a little under energy wise all weekend, so I never got to your Monday. My apologies. Um, but this is going to be your daily read for Tuesday. Uh, February 14th, the big Valentine's Day. Um, now, just a second on that. Um, you know, if you celebrate Valentine's Day, happy Valentine, Valentine's Day. Um, if you don't, that's cool too. I feel that Valentine's Day is a sweet day, but I also feel that um, it shouldn't take a specific day in the calendar to show our love for one another. So um, know that I love you every single day and I appreciate you so much for all the support, all your comments, your likes, your donations, um, for trusting me when I do private readings with your energy. Thank you for trusting myself and my guides with our, with your energy. Um, it is an incredible gift to be able to connect with you. So Saggy, I am sending you so much love and appreciation. Now, this is gonna be a general read. I feel a little plugged up right now, which is really strange because I was fine before I started um, meditating and cleansing the area. All of a sudden, I'm starting to feel like my nose is getting stuffed up. So, um, I don't know. Maybe you are experiencing the same thing and I'm picking up on your energy. Um, what was I going to say, though? Um, general read, right? So, um, don't try to force it. If it isn't your reading and it doesn't make sense, it's just not your reading. Uh, it's not a big deal. It's just, you know, there's a lot of us in this world. So, chances are it's not going to relate and resonate with every single Sagittarius. Um, and timeless, right? Uh, yeah, 14th of February. But again, this could be something that you just went through, Sag, or it could be something that is um, even coming a week or two or whenever you're called to this reading. Um, you know, we've got to stay fluid on that. And what else? If you would like a private reading with me, um, I have a schedule. So just send me an email. All that information is down below in the description box. And um, I will contact you and we can set up something if you want to dive a little bit deeper. Okay, Saggy, let's get started. We're going to open up with the animal, divine animal wisdom, divine wisdom, I can't, whatever my words. Um, it's the animal deck. Um, let's see what's going on. Now, I do want to say that when I was um, prepping your decks off camera, these two decks, my Light Series deck and my Fountain deck, it was really strange because we kept getting repeat cards. The Magician, the King of Wands, the King of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, um, and the Death card. They kept showing up. So um, I just want to mention it because that might be something really important. Um, might be connected to this reading. Um, otherwise, let's just get going. All right, Saggy. I really do hope you're doing well. Now, bottom of the deck, if you're new here, which I have to take the time to say that because this beautiful family that we have... Um, it's getting bigger and bigger every day and I oh man, I just love it. I just love connecting with you It feels like family to me um, and I hope it feels like family to you So bottom of the deck if you're new um, is the foundation of your reading and I often will be guided to look at uh, the, the bottom of the deck even as I'm shuffling because it normally correlates with the message that's coming from spirit So right now we have Raven which is about news. So we're going to take a look at this just to discuss it um, It's another number 23, which is a five Fives for me as a channeler are always about change, right? Something is going to be changing here for you. So news, this raven is um, big, beautiful. You know how ravens are. They're like crows as well. They're very um, intuitive. Uh, they can, they telepathically communicate with each other. Um, but this is something about some kind of news that's coming in. Now, there is a man sitting at the top in between this beak, um, almost like waiting for the news, but I'm not sure you're going to be able to see it. My camera is not the best, but he has a sword and he has, um, well, I'm not even sure, I guess a shield, that's what it would be. He has a sword and a shield. So you may be sitting right now on Tuesday or whenever you come to this reading, there may be something that you're waiting to receive news on, um, but it feels like it would be connected to the truth as in the sword, you know, the swords in tarot, that is about air, it's about the truth, um, nothing but the truth kind of thing. So this seems pretty important. Um, we'll see as we get in. And next we have the lioness, which is about protection. It's no, number 21, which is a three. For me, threes are one of the most powerful numbers. I mean, all numbers are beautiful. They all have their own unique message to it. But three is for myself. It is like the Holy Trinity, right? It is, um, you know, if you're religious, it would be, you know, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Um, you know, for me, it's like body, mind, soul, right? It's the three. It's the power that you and each of us all have if we tap into it. There may be something that you're feeling protected about. So 
Let's get in and see what Spirit has for you. Please show me clearly, uh, Spirit, for Sagittarius, for those that this reading is meant for, for Tuesday, February 14th, or whenever Sag is called to it, what message do you have? Please show me clearly for beautiful, gorgeous, wonderful Sagittarius. So funny. Oh, wow, way too many cards. I'm laughing, though, because I am... Um, <clears throat> I'm going to put these all back. There's way too many, and I don't feel that Spirit is calling to any of these at the moment. I feel like I'm catching a cold as I'm doing this reading. So I'm not sure what this is about. I don't feel like it's my energy. So I'm just going to bring that up there because, um, I don't know, it just feels, I feel like I've taken on. Spirit's coming through with some kind of message. Um, I don't know what this is, though. All right, Spirit, let's continue. I'm going to leave that. I'm going to leave it where it is at this moment. What music, what music, <laughs> what message do you have for Sagittarius? Please show me clearly one card, please. Beautiful spirit for Sagittarius. What message for, ooh, okay, Tuesday. Wow, we have the swan, which is about beauty. We'll talk about this. Ooh, on bottom we have peacock, prosperity, interesting. And then we have the owl and then the cat. I feel like we're going to take all of these. Yes? Yes. Okay, we will. Okay, Saggy, we open up with the first card, the card that flipped out. These three are all on the bottom, but I do feel guided by spirit to take them. We have the swan. This is a beautiful energy. It is number 20, so it's a two. It could be talking about a choice here um, or a partnership, something about you and another person. Um, this is about trust, though. Um, if you look at the woman, she's naked, right? So she's very vulnerable. She's in water. And she's got a blindfold around her, so she cannot see what is around her. And there's this beautiful swan flying above her um, that is basically, she's sharing bubbles that are rising up, which almost feels like orbs, like spiritual energy coming through. Um, <clears throat> and she's reaching her hand up and she's got this, um, <clears throat> yeah, bubble. And the swan's coming down to almost take it. Now, <clears throat> again, I'm, I don't know what is going on. <clears throat> Spirit, can you take this off of me if it's not mine, please? Okay, thank you. There's something here about trust. Now, I don't know if it's that you're not trusting or if Spirit is asking you to really trust. Um, because of being in this vulnerable state, yet she's not freaking out. She's not scared. There's even dragonflies um, up around um, flying too. And dragonflies for me are a very good omen. We then have the peacock, prosperity, beautiful energy here. Um, it is number 39, so that reduces again down to, what is that, 42, so that, no, 39, not with 9 plus 3, <laughs> it's 12, which is 3, yes. Could be involving something to do with your money here, prosperity, something coming towards you. Peacocks are pretty powerful, they're very vibrant, they're very beautiful. When they open up that tail feather, it is huge and it is just full of color. Um, so I'm going to hold off until we get into the tarot, what's going on here, but I feel like there's a need for you to trust that your prosperity, whether that be in money, right? Prosperity could also be in love, um, just feeling safe, secure, all of, all of those things. But I feel like spirit is almost saying that you've got to really kind of trust, um, your next move because we have the owl and then the cat and spirit guided me to take all of those. So that's my little dog, not a little dog, big dog. So please excuse her, but look at these two cards. The owl is about wisdom. The cat is about your intuition. But look at the colors, gold. So for me, gold is a very abundant color. It is really about the blessings, um, what you're focusing on, what you're wanting coming towards you. Um, this is a very positive energy. They're asking you to really rely not only on your wisdom and your experience thus far on your journey, but to know that you have that inner guidance system that you can tap into at any time and actually should always be listening to, um, to take you to the next step is what I'm feeling, especially with the cat here. So I'm going to have a sip of water and then we're going to get into the tarot, see what's going on here. So numbers we have, we've got the two, we've got three, we've got four, and we've got 10, which is one, which is a magician. All right, Saji, hold on one second. Throat getting a little dry. All right. Let's get into your reading. All right, Spirit, please show me clearly for Sagittarius for February 14th. Wow, we got the world on the bottom. Okay, some kind of cycle possibly closing up, or it could even be something 
<coughs> that's coming towards you, Sag, that's going to make you feel on top of the world. Let me just have a moment to see what's underneath. Three of Wands, so movement. The Moon, interesting. This is um, really about what you're not able to see. I feel like there's a moon here in the card. Yes, there is. There's one up here. Full moon. You can barely see it, but it's at the very top. Um, we have a new moon coming up, but that's going to be in Pisces. And then if we go into March, I'm not sure what day the full moon is going to be on. Um, I'll have to check that out. But if you know, maybe you could drop a message down below because I feel that this could be actually something that goes on around that full moon, maybe starting on the 14th. Um, okay, Spirit, show me clearly for Sagittarius for February 14th or for whenever Saggy comes to this reading. What message do you have for those that this message is for? Please show me clearly for Sagittarius. Okay, we've got a few that has popped out. Okay, there we go. We got the two of swords, two underneath the two. Strength, Leo's card, wow, which is number eight though, and that is like your life purpose. Um, you know, it's infinity symbol. We got the lovers, and then we got the nine of pentacles. <coughs> okay, so we got two major arcana in the middle. Leo and Gemini to start with here, and then the nine of pentacles. Bottom of the deck, deck I can't speak, guys. Um, you got Some of you have said solar flares. Yeah, maybe that's what's going on. Let me know if you guys are going through that too, because I, even this weekend, I, you know, I've got, I slept, I got so much rest. I know I'm getting sidetracked, but hey, we're just hanging out, chit-chatting here, right? Um, I don't know. My energy has felt a little bit, maybe not so much my energy. I feel the energy around, um, I don't know, there's weird stuff going on. Um, and even my speech is not, it has not really um, gotten better even though we're not in Mercury retrograde. So let me know, because uh, it's just kind of weird um, the way I'm feeling. Not negative, it's not negative. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's almost like anticipation is what I'm feeling, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be anticipating. So I'm gonna leave that there. Okay, back to the reading. Harfin, bottom of the deck. So Taurus's card showing up. Ooh, and then we have the four of swords underneath. All right, the Harfin is number five. He speaks of, obviously, that really high learning. He has high wisdom, right? Very much connected to the owl. Um, this could be representing some new path that you're about to take on and that you need to trust the process and touch, tr trust the steps you're going to be taking. Um, maybe you're going back to school. Maybe you're taking a different course. This could even be um, maybe a marriage proposal that's coming to you or even a deeper commitment that's being offered. Again, going back to the swan. Um, but I do feel a little bit of hesitation, but also at the same time, like what I just said, anticipation. Um, I love this energy, though, because the Hierophant is really trusting, right? Um, he has learned so much that he is not stressed about what decision or the direction he wants to go in. He knows that he is divinely being guided and um, everything is falling into alignment of what is supposed to happen. Now, it does feel like it could be, oh yeah, okay. Um, so we got the Four of Swords. It does feel like after a time of sorrow, after a time of heartbreak, after a time of major disappointment, um, because we have the Four of Swords and then we have the Three of Swords following it. And I shuffle these deck, the decks crazy off camera until they won't fold into each other. So this is um, a pretty strong message for someone out there that you have gone through a lot. Um, and... It feels, though, that you are understanding that you need to release a lot and that you're needing to kind of um, heal. Yes, Four of Swords is about healing. Three of Swords is about big, big pain, big betrayal even. Um, but I feel like this is Spirit's way of coming through, however this may be, because it could be really about love too, that you're really needing to trust your guidance, your intuition on however this is playing out for you. Um, because we have the Nine of Wands even underneath that, which is your energy, which is that wounded warrior gone through a whole lot of hard, difficult stuff, but you still have not given up. And for some of you, okay, look at this. Look at how it's unfolding here. We've got the Ten of Pentacles next. So for some of you, this could be about a marriage, a family, something that um, split up. Um, it broke your heart in some way, maybe didn't have your back. I don't know. It's going to be different for each of you. Um, but it feels like it was very painful and very difficult to kind of let go of Saggy. But yet, but yet, you know that 
where you are is only you're just in this phase right now and you know that you're going to turn the page and you're going to start regaining your strength regaining your your power regaining your own um self-worth here and what it feels like it's like when that starts to happen it's like spirit comes through or your angels your guides whatever you believe and they bring you a lot of positive stability into your life um Let's talk about what has come out here. We've got the Two of Swords, and Spirit did guide it to me underneath the Swan. Now, isn't that interesting? Because Two of Swords is usually between a head over heart decision, unable to make it, right? She's got a big blindfold on her eyes, um, and these birds are pecking at her, but she's still, she's still not able to make a solid decision. Now, when you look at the Swan, it's almost like the same, the same, she's got a blindfold on too here, right? I feel spirit is really asking you to trust, to trust yourself. Um, that's what it's feeling like. Because these cards almost right now are feeling almost identical. Perhaps you're not able to make a decision because you don't want to be vulnerable. But the thing is, is that the next card they give you, which is strength, which is Leo's card. Um, yeah, this is about persisting and... Um, you know, using your courage and your bravery to take the next step. Uh, but it is under the peacock. So it's almost like if this, so I don't know, this could be about some move you're making in career where you're not sure what way to go, but spirit is telling you to just trust, trust what feels right to you. It's one thing that I always try to tell my clients, you know, my family and tell myself as well. Um, it's not always easy, for goodness sake, we are human beings. But the way to really decipher which way to go, especially when you don't know, you don't have all the facts. Remember we had the moon. When you don't have all the facts and you can't see what's around the corner, um, whether this is about love or career or family or however it may apply, trust what your gut feels like. When you say to yourself, if I do this, how does that make me feel? Listen to what your gut says. If it doesn't feel good and it feels icky and there's, a, there's um, almost a hesitation, that is your intuition's way of saying, don't take that path. It's not for you. It's not in alignment with you. Um, so I feel that's what Spirit is asking you to do here. I'm going to get some clarifiers. Um, there's something here, though, that needs to be either removed or have a broader way of looking at things so prosperity can come towards you. You know, then we have the lovers next. So again, this used to be called the choice card. So I don't know if this is really about love for you, although we do have the hearts and we do have the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant, which kind of represents that family stability, the family tradition. Um, perhaps you're being offered something from a lover here and you're not quite sure which way you want to go because it is underneath wisdom. Um, we're going to pull the clarifiers, but... Again, we get the Nine of Pentacles. So there's that independence. There's that um, wealth coming towards you, the money coming towards you. Spirit, let's get into um, more. Let's get clarifying because right now, I'm not sure. They want me to pull these. Do you want me to stay with the ten of, with this deck? Okay, we're going to go one time with this deck, and then I'm going to go over to my fountain. What else do you have for Sagittarius? It feels like there's something that's stalking, stopping you. Stalking. Again, I can't speak. There's something that's in your way a little bit on this Tuesday or when you're getting called to this reading, Saji, that they want you to take the risk, take the chance, be brave, um, take the leap here because it's going to bring you a lot of blessings and abundance and growth and prosperity, even with the page of wands that just came out. This is the energy. It's Again, your energy it could be Leo's or Aries as well. Page of wands is taking that chance. Um, look at how she's throwing that, that wand up in the air and she, although it looks like she doesn't know where she's aiming, um, she, it doesn't matter if she hits her target exactly. It's all about taking the action to get moving here with the page of wands. So let's now, okay, we got the five of swords underneath the deck hmm, and then the two of cups. For some of you guys, this is about a relationship maybe that went really bad, a breakup that happened, maybe your family broke up. Um, something has happened somewhere. It feels a little bit more in the past. So, <clears throat> and you're still struggling with the, um, you're still f struggling with the after aftermath. I just heard aftermath. Obviously there was a lot of conflict with the five of swords, even showing up on the bottom of the deck. And for some of you, like I said, this was about a partner, two of cups. 
uh, four of pentacles perhaps someone really withheld their their um, emotion maybe they withheld the finances withheld the more stingy on some kind of level here um that's what it's feeling like but the five of swords is letting me know that there was some kind of drama there was arguing there was criticism there was harsh words So it feels very much like you're needing to, yeah, you're needing to make some kind of move here, Saggy. Okay, let's go into the fountain deck. Let's see what, 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 let's go deeper, please, Spirit, because right now um, we need more. We need more answers. Ten of cups on the bottom. Beautiful energy. Unless this is about the energy that, that broke up here. Because Ten of Cups is my couple card of two people coming together that really love one another. And, um, you know, having the happy home and the stability and, you know, seeing forever together. The Magician next. That showed up before too. Ace of Coins. King of Wands. Okay. Show me clearly. What is going on for Saggy on Valentine's Day? Two of Swords. Strength card. The Lovers. Nine of Pentacles. There's growth here if you're wanting it. There's something being offered, I feel. Um, but it comes after you kind of being brave to take. I keep getting leap of faith, although we don't have the fool card. Page of swords. What did I just say about something? Three of swords now. Twice showing up. You're going to be getting some kind of offer. Page of swords often is offer or a message coming in. Maybe someone coming to apologize. Um, because right now with the two, the two cards of three of swords showing up, this is letting me know that there's been big heartbreak in your life, Saggy, in some area. Could be career. I feel for a lot of you, it's more connected to a family situation, but even career wise, it's almost like, it's almost like you're afraid to take the leap, to take the, take the, take what is being offered to you. So the page of swords is telling me that something is coming towards you. Some kind of communication is coming towards you. Is it from the person that broke your heart? Three of Swords. Are they wanting to repair something with you? Queen of Wands, Page of Coins. Let's keep going. Show me more, please, Spirit. Okay, I feel like that was me. Nine of Wands, Four of Wands. Uh, Nine of Cups on the bottom. A lot of positive cards here. Uh, what is this about? Show me more, please. Okay, wow. Look at this. I didn't realize these were flipped out. Okay, we've got Death. We've got the High Priestess. Two major arcana now showing up. Okay, Saggy, there is some cycle that absolutely has to close out. Now, perhaps if this is about a relationship where there was a lot of pain, a lot of arguing, maybe even betrayals, um, you know, something that really broke your heart, um... I feel like Spirit is saying you it's time to let this go because Death card is Scorpio's card. And this is all about, you know, really the death rebirth process, starting new, getting over what was keeping you stuck, what was keeping you from expanding. Um, I'm wondering if you're going to get some kind of apology here, if this is about love, that allows you then to um, kind of get on a different track that is much better for you. There's, I, they just keep showing me the gold. I keep, like the gold is almost popping off of the owl and the cat here. Um, and then with the, the prosperity, man, there's so many different things that this could be representing, but what I'm getting it is very positive, but yet there's some little, there's still something you've got to break through here. There's a breakthrough that has to happen with the two of swords. There's a decision that needs to be made. Um, High Priestess, Pisces card, Spirit's way of saying you really got to listen to your intuition here, which Spirit, it's all over this, this reading, this spread right now, about trusting your intuition, trusting your inner guidance system. Um, and again, okay, so the Four of Wands and the Nine of Wands that, um, that fell out, which I thought maybe I dropped him, but now it's making more sense. Four of Wands is my marriage card. It's also celebrating and all that, but Nine of Wands. So I'm wondering if for some of you, was there a breakdown in a committed relationship but now it's coming back. Is there someone that is determined to win you back? Because we have the nine of wands twice, right? We had it in my fountain deck too, that they're wanting you back. And I know most of other, I know not everyone wants your per past person back, but we do have the nine of cups on the bottom. So it's almost like, is there a wish, <clears throat> excuse me, 
Do you have a wish to get back together with someone? Um, this is interesting too, because it is on Valentine's Day, right? So would it be that out of the norm for an ex or someone to contact you on Valentine's Day saying, you know, I want to make this right. I want, I want you back. Or at the very least, I want to heal what has happened. Could be you, but, um, it could be the other person here. Wow. Let's see what else. The devil. Of course the devil shows up. And then it's always a devil in your card temperance. Man. Okay. I want to go more. All right, Saggy. What is happening here? In some ways, I feel a little bit like this is about career, but it's getting a little bit more. I'm getting more of the vibration of. Hmm, I need more spirit. I was going to say, like, obviously trusting your intuition, but at the very beginning with the swan, they were giving me this energy of trusting, right? Trusting. Not just your intu intuition, but show me more. What is this offer? What is this this message, this apology, this... What is this? Nine of Cups just flipped out. And then we got the moon on the bottom. Okay, Sag. So it's either someone is coming back because the lovers... I'm going to show you this card. The lovers, yes, it used to be called the choice card, but when you look at this energy, the energy I pick up from this lovers, especially in the spread with the Nine of Pentacles and the Strength card, at one time, this is a connection between you and someone else. Now, again, it doesn't have to be love, but it kind of feels like that. Are you... Because they're giving me all these different... I'm getting different storylines. For someone out there, it feels like there was a breakup, pretty important relationship, broke your heart. You might have been married. You might have had a family with them. Um, and you they're coming back to ask you to trust them again. You're hesitant. And maybe you're not going to take them back because Nine of Pentacles is a very independent card, right? Um, it's more, you know, the single person that's making money and secure and living on your own. <coughs> But then we have the Nine of Cups. So what I'm wondering is, is there someone coming back that you would open your heart up to again? Maybe it wasn't even um, something like third person party. Maybe sometimes the Three of Swords can be just, you know, life, like um, not lining up. Someone that was meant for you, someone that you might have been really in love with. But because of circumstances, maybe someone had to move or, you know, um, someone had to put more energy into their work or into their schooling or, or something that kept you apart. It's very interesting because the moon is saying that there's something that you're not able to see right now. This is our subconscious. Again, it's Pisces card. So for some of you, you might be dealing with Pisces. And then we have the Queen of Swords after that, which is getting that clarity, seeing things really clear, speaking your truth, listening to the truth, or someone exposing the truth even to you. And then we have the Eight of Swords, which is feeling stuck. Hmm. Sag, what is going on here? Spirit, show me more. What is going on for my Sagittarius is that this reading is meant for? I feel there's a new start for you. Maybe it's a new start on your own. Someone comes back to apologize, to say sorry, maybe wants you back. But it's almost like for some of you, you're like, no, I'm not going to do that anymore. I am wise now. I've gone through it. Um, I'm regaining my prosperity. I'm regaining my strength. I'm regaining my beautiful center of who I am after what's happened. And then that dies out and a new cycle begins for you. Others, this could be someone coming back. There's an apology and perhaps the two of you are meant to be together. It just didn't happen at that time because of life circumstances. Okay, let's go more. Let's see what else spirit has. We have a lot of major arcana. So this is a pretty big deal for whoever's reading this is. Show me more, please, Spirit. What else would you like Sagittarius to know? And again, like I said, this is, we got the tower on the bottom and Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups, but they were in reverse. Seven of Swords, the Emperor. Okay. Um, Sagi. I don't think if someone's coming back, obviously it's not going to be for everyone, right? And and it could be about work, but I really don't feel that. They're guiding me more to talk about the love. If someone's coming back, like I said, maybe it's their wish to get back to you. They want you back. Um, and perhaps tomorrow, because it makes sense, Valentine's Day, you know, 
uh huh, just you know, just saying that. Um, they may be coming back to make you an offer. Um, and I feel because the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups came out in reverse, that you're rejecting it. You're like, no, thank you. I've been there, done that, not doing it again, you know, got the t-shirt. Because Nine of Cups for me is like the, the Knight of Cups, sorry. Very romantic, right? Vulnerable, wears his heart, his or her heart on their sleeve, pursues the what they love, the person they love or the, or the you know, whatever it is that they're pursuing. With the Ace of Cups is a new beginning, right? All Aces are the opportunity for a brand new beginning. But they flipped out upside down in reverse. And I don't always take reversals, but this way I do feel it because I feel like you are it's really going to be that no, thanks but no thanks. But it is also, if this is what it is for you, <coughs> that leads you to a freedom. It just leads you to some kind of new freedom here where I feel like you're going to you're going to feel really proud of yourself. That's what I'm getting here. And then the tower, right? The tower showing up again, another major arcana, that this is the beginning of a, this is the shakeup that is needed for you to be able to have a new beginning, to start brand new. Um, but it does also feel that there's good prosperity coming towards you as well. Now, of course, we have the seven of swords underneath the tower. This energy is more that energy that I, of um, someone doing something behind your back or they did something behind your back and you found out about it. And when you found out about it, it crushed you. And then you have to take time out, but yet there's still maybe a little bit of love there. Or at the very least, there's a bit of, how can I say this? Uh, you may know that it's time for you to move on and you know that, but yet sometimes familiar being, familiarity can sometimes keep us in a state of, of, of you know, not, kind of like settling a little bit, you know, I've done it, uh, who hasn't, right? Because sometimes it can be really <coughs> um, scary to branch out on your own. But however this is for you, um, I do feel that you're not accepting the offer or you're not accepting, you're not accepting whatever is coming towards you. It's strange though, because Sag, a lot of times I can get very emotional connecting to your energy I'm not feeling super emotional in this reading. Like I'm not really getting that. Um, it's really strange. It's a strange energy. I feel like you have turned the page or you are about to turn the page. Let's go one more time. Anything else for Sagittarius? I, and, and also the thing is, is Sagi, you love yourself. You should love yourself. You are so worth everything, right? And however this may have gone down you are your life matters and all of whatever's happened to you you deserve to be free and you deserve to have excitement and happiness and joy and love and abundance and stability um, and so it feels to me almost like you are making that decision to really take care of yourself and nurture yourself and honor yourself that's why they're giving the wisdom and that's why they're giving the cat. This is like honoring yourself that if someone has done this to you before, it doesn't mean that people can't change. Of course they can. But I'm getting this feeling, especially with the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Cups that came out in reverse. It's like you have really tapped into your wisdom and you now know your truth and you know not to, you will not settle for it anymore. That's really what I'm feeling. Emperor, Eight of Wands, Wheel of Fortunes in reverse. Yeah, I just feel, I feel like you are, for whoever's reading this is, oh, Empress, beautiful. You are really, it's beautiful really. You're really taking care of yourself. You're, you, you may not be out of this. Your heart still may be hurt. You still might be um, working through it. But what I do love is, is that you are going to be taking good care of yourself. And male or female, right? This is a non-gender specific reading. It's like you've come to this awareness, this realization that you want better and you deserve better and you're really honoring yourself and you're taking good care of yourself. Um, the Empress is a beautiful energy of loving yourself. She's very nurturing, but she's also very abundant too. So some of you, you might have had someone that took your money. Maybe that's why they're giving the peacock, which is the prosperity, right? The nine of pentacles. <clears throat> Maybe someone took your money, took your heart, took your money, took your home, da 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 right? And it's been a work in progress, you trying to heal from that and to release it. 
but I think you're doing it. I really do think you're doing it. Um, again, and then the tower is back on the bottom. I'm going to shuffle one more time and see anything else that wants to come out of here. Okay, spirit, this tower will not stop showing up. So big change, um, big change. For some of you, this is a relationship that is really just going to break down right away. Maybe it hasn't even happened yet. Maybe you found out some news and that's what's keeping you at the Two of Swords. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, Sagi, I send you so much love and such healing vibrations if you've gone through this and you're struggling. You're struggling because it hurts. And Sag, when you love someone, you have such a beautiful big heart. It's not so easy. Like, it's not like a switch that you can turn it off and turn it on, right? Um, it's a process. But also, you know, knowing the Page of Wands, that's twice we've gotten the Page of Wands and the Chariot. Wow. Cancer's card. And then King of Wands underneath. You have the Page of Wands that came out twice. <coughs> really, I do feel like this is a new beginning. You're seeing really clearly. You're still working through things. But you know now that to turn back, I feel for the majority of you, um, it is not going to be what you want. And you know that you deserve better. And you're moving forward and you're looking further. You're looking to the future here. Um, and the chariot being on the bottom, beautiful energy of being back in control of your life, knowing what you want, knowing what you don't want, um, leading these horses in the direction that you are heading in and not looking back. It's also like a beautiful victory card too because it's like when we go through that pain of someone, if someone has hurt you and they've let you down, they did something, right? Seven of swords, three of swords showing up here. The devil showed up, remember? Um, when you come to that awakening of like, wow, I really don't deserve how I was treated. And I'm seeing that now. My heart still hurts. You know, I'm still mending. I'm still trying to heal. But this person comes back. And they say they call you or send you a text, whatever. Some of you might, I just seen a bouquet of flowers. So look, I know that sounds, that of course, right? It's Valentine's Day. People buy flowers for each other. But all I'm saying is Spirit's giving that to me. Someone might even um, send you some flowers like, oh, happy, you know, I remember this with you or something. Um, but it's like you're seeing the truth and you're like, no, I thank you, but no, thank you. I am going to take care of myself and I'm going to look for, I'm going to just heal myself so that when I'm vibrating at a really beautiful high level, which I am going to get to if I'm not right now, um, I will then be attracting others who will be vibrating on that same level. And then that way, it's like that six of pentacles that I always talk about, the equal give, the equal take. No one's stealing, no one's lying, no one's betraying you. It's a beautiful harmony of respect and honor and grace for one another. And I feel like whoever's reading this is, this is what you're going through. For a daily read, this seems quite heavy, but because it is 14th of February, and again, I know not everyone um, is into it, right? Like I said, I, I personally like... Every day should be special to show people how much you love them, not just on one day. But how this feels is that it does feel like someone may be coming back, but you're using your beautiful wisdom. Um, and I really feel like you are moving forward and you will be open to creating something with someone else that is going to be of like mind, like heart, like soul, that is in harmony with you moving forward. Not that there's a rush, not that you're, you're like desperate or anything like that. Um, it just feels quite the enlightenment that has taken place. I want to go into my Work My Light deck, Spirit. Let's see what wants to come out of here. Very interesting reading. Powerful too. Okay, so we have Answer the Call on the bottom. What is your soul calling you to do? Really, another card of your intuition, Saji, and trusting your intuition. Not allowing your mind to overtake, trusting your intuition. High Priestess, um, the Empress, the Cat, now this card, uh, Cancer, very into, very, and Pisces, right? They're both very intuitive. So same with Death card, Scorpio. I mean, you have all signs here of the water sign. So I do feel you already know, you already know how you'd react if this person calls you or sends you a message, um, but this would be your confirmation. Yeah. Okay, Spirit, what else would you like Sag to know? We've got Leap. Okay. Remember what I kept saying? <coughs> oh, my goodness. <coughs> Excuse me, Saggy. Remember what I was saying at the very beginning? I kept 
oh my god, I wanted to kept I kept saying take the leap to, or something like that, like you know. But I said there wasn't the fool card. Well, this is the card that came out, the leap card. It says, and again, the full moon. You go first. The universe will catch you. So this is spirit's way of confirming that there is the hair in my mouth. That there is a new beginning for you. I have no doubt. We have the world. We have death now, and then we have leap. There's a new beginning for you. I feel like this is almost like a clean up. Um, yeah, clean. I'm getting this clean clean up kind of energy um, for this reading. One you might have been hesitant to do, but as you move forward, as you move, move on, move through the day, the week, whenever, it takes you to a better place. And, <clears throat> oh my gosh, it just feels like I'm very proud of you. And you should be really proud of yourself for this because it just feels really important. Boundaries on the bottom. <clears throat> Where do you need to establish better boundaries? Yeah, so again, this is not going to be for everyone. I've got a feeling it's not going to be for very many Sagis. Because um, it's pretty it's pretty specific. But Spirit is saying you got to establish your boundaries and moving forward. <clears throat> take the leap. There's going to be something that is going to be much better in alignment with you. A better someone that's going to be more in alignment with you. And then we, after that, it says align your life. What is not aligned? Oh my God, who's sick out there? <coughs> Which Saji is sick right now? Because <coughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. And I was completely, completely fine before I hit play or record on my um, laptop. I am sending you healing vibes. Make some tea. Get some chamomile tea or something like that. Green tea. Something really ginger tea. Something that will clear the, um, the cold because my nose is plugged up right now. Okay, what a wild read. Anyways, it says align your life. What is not aligned or needs to change? That's after the boundaries. So spirit is really coming through to say you're gonna. There's something big that you're standing up for, which is you, and you're using your intuition. You already know this. It's already been giving you signs, and when this person, because I feel it's a person, comes back, reaches out, tries to get hold of you, however it is. You're not willing to turn back now. You may accept um, the apology with grace, um, but I feel like you are moving forward. You're moving on. Yeah, you're moving on. You, you've, again, they're giving me that silly saying, I've been there, done that, got the t-shirt. So, all right, Saji, I'm going to close this reading off. Treasures from Takashi. I'm going to go make myself a tea um, <laughs> and um, blow my nose. It says gentleness on the bottom. Be gentle with yourself and others. Let go of those harsh judgments. Tread gently upon the earth with a reverence for life. Spend some time surrounded by nature and feel the gentle flow of growth around and within you. It is not to be forced, but gently nurtured and allowed. Gentleness is a strength. Feel its awesome power. Well, I mean, that feels pretty much in alignment too um, with this reading of just being gentle with yourself as you're moving through this. Um, but again, I just feel you're getting your independence back and you're getting into alignment. And um, yeah, it's just, it does feel beautiful, but it feels like quite a journey. Okay. Patience we have. Beautiful. Be patient. All things move at the time as the timing requires. Quiet your mind. Take time to be with yourself with no expectations or push. Do not be anxious for results, but enjoy the gentle journey. In your busy world, Saggy, do not be rushed or allow the impatience of others to push you into hasty decisions. All things come to those who wait patiently. Yeah, beautiful. And then on the bottom, we have honesty. So I'll read that for you. Be honest with yourself. Be honest in your thoughts. What could you try to hide? There are no secrets in the universe. Tell the whole story and don't hold back. Allow yourself to be open and honest and the world is open and honest with you. Great pearls of wisdom and jewels of delight flow into an honest heart. Let it be yours. Again, I feel like that is true too. I do feel if someone's reaching out to you to apologize. Maybe it's not romantic. Maybe it's a family member or something. But for whoever this is, it does feel like you are going through a transition, but you are on the way to healing and you're on the way to calling back your power and standing up beautifully straight with your shoulders back, with your head up, because you know what you've gone through and you know that you deserve more. And I do feel that you are no longer going to tolerate anything that is less than. That's why they gave you the boundaries card to establish your boundaries now. 
Okay, Saggy, I'm going to leave it there because I really do feel quite plugged up right now. So um, I hope that this helps in some way. Again, I love you and I thank you for being here. Let me know if this makes sense. Um, again, I don't feel like it's probably going to be for everyone, but um, yeah, we'll just leave it right there. There's major growth coming. And if you're struggling right now, please know it is going to get only better and better and better. Yeah, without a doubt. All right, Saggy, all my love to you. Mm, kisses as always and big hugs. No, you're not alone. We're all here and we're all supporting one another. And I got to say, what an incredible, what an incredible thing that is. So be proud of yourself. I love you and we'll see you next time. Take care.